Hey guys, this is Chris Ritchie, aka DFlash. I got another video about the MX1. I forgot to cover this in the last one, and I think it's a really important thing to cover. So we're gonna take a look at how to record the master output from your MX1 back into Ableton. So if you're out playing live and you want to record your set and you don't want to bring another recorder, you can actually record the output from the MX1 and the mix output, the master output. Um, back into Ableton. So in order to do that we're going to add another channel. We can remove the channel strip that comes on. And we're going to add 17 and 18. And what we want to do is set that to sends only. And what you'll see is when we turn it on Now you see that we're getting the master output. So then what you're just going to want to do is uh, arm that and then when you hit when you start your set you're going to hit record and then start. and you'll see that it gets recorded to this channel. So I thought that's pretty helpful. Uh, it's nice to have that as a feature. I wasn't sure when they were first announced the MX-1 if that was going to be if we were going to be able to do that. I'm um, very happy to find that we are and so this is pretty cool. Um, like I said you don't need a separate recorder. You can record your sets. It's the master out so it's everything that you do gets saved. Uh, if you have any other questions feel free to post them in the comments and make sure you check out some of the other videos I've got posted on the IRA gear and uh, using Ableton. Thanks for checking it out.